In this video, we will show how to create a double-ended zipper. There are two methods. The first method creates the look of a double-ended zipper. We will begin with a smart zipper already assigned to our garment. Next, we will replace the stopper with a copy of the puller. Select the dropdown next to the zipper icon and choose Look Inside. Here, we see all the components of the zipper. Using the dropdown next to the puller, choose Extract a copy. A copy of the puller now shows in the piece assignable trims. To replace the stopper with the puller copy, drag and drop the puller icon over the zipper icon. A pop-up will appear. Select the stopper to replace. Now a puller shows in place of the stopper. Note, the zipper can still only be unzipped from the top puller. The second method allows partial unzipping from the top and bottom of the zipper by assigning two zippers. Using manual assignment, assign the first zipper to the upper half of the zipper edge, ending in a location that we want to keep zipped. We then clone the zipper and assign the copy to the lower half of the zipper edge. To be able to unzip from the bottom puller, we need to flip the bottom zipper. Selecting the bottom zipper, choose Flip Direction from the context view. The puller is now facing the wrong direction. We can change the direction it's facing. Choose Edit Material and open the 3D Trim Editor. A pop-up will appear if it's the first time you are editing the 3D object. If the menu does not automatically show, choose Set Orientation. Use the vertical and facing controls so that the puller looks like this. Click OK to confirm the change. Now the puller direction looks correct in 3D. We need to hide the extra pullers at the center of the zipper. These are the replaced stoppers. In each zipper, select the stopper and change the transparency to 100%. Last, we need to stitch the two zipper ends together. With the stitch tool, hover over the zipper ends and stitch. By default, open stitch construction is added. Select the stitches with the stitch tool and change the stitch construction to flat from the context menu. We can now unzip from the top and bottom of the zipper. In this video, you've learned how to create a double-ended zipper. For more information, check out the Browser Help Center.